Hello Year 3. We're all really missing you and I hope you're all keeping safe at home. So today I'm going to read the second chapter of the BFG and it's called Who? It wasn't human. It couldn't be. It was four times as tall as the tallest human. It was so tall its head was higher than the upstairs windows of the house. Sophie opened her mouth to scream but no sound came out. Her throat like a whole body, was frozen with fright. This was the witching hour, all right. The tall black figure was coming her way. It was keeping very close to the houses across the street, hiding in the shadowy places where there was no moonlight. On and on it came, nearer and nearer. But it was moving in spurts. It would stop, then it would move on, then it would stop again. What on earth was it doing? Aha, uh -huh. Sophie could now see what it was up to. It was stopping in front of each house. It would stop, peer into the windows, in the upstairs of each of the houses, and it actually had to bend down to peer into the upstairs windows. That's how tall it was. It would stop and peer in, then it would slide onto the next house and stop again and peer in, and so on all along the street. It was much closer now, and Sophie could see it more clearly. Looking at it carefully, she decided it had to be some kind of person. Obviously, it wasn't human, but it was definitely a person. A giant person, perhaps. Sophie stared hard into the misty, moonlit street. The giant, if that's what he was, was wearing a long black, cloak. In one hand he was holding what looked like a very long thin trumpet. In the other hand he held a large suitcase. The giant had stopped now right in front of Mr and Mrs Gucci's house. The Gucci's had a greengrocer's shop in the middle of the high street and the family lived above the shop. The two Gucci children slept in the upstairs front room. Sophie knew that. The giant was peering through the window into the room where Michael and Jane Gucci were sleeping. From across the street, Sophie watched and held her breath. She saw the giant step back a pace and put the suitcase down on the pavement. He bent over and opened the suitcase. He took something out of it. It looked like a jar, one of those square ones with a screw top. He unscrewed the top of the jar and poured what was in it into the long trumpet thing. Sophie watched, trembling. She saw the giant straighten up again as she saw him poke the trumpet in through the upstairs window of the room where the Gucci children were sleeping. She saw the giant take a deep breath and whoosh, blew it through the trumpet. No noise came out. But it was obvious to Sophie that whatever had been in the jar had now been blown through the trumpet and into the Gucci children's bedroom. But what could it be? As the giant withdrew the trumpet from the window and bent down to pick up the suitcase, he happened to turn his head and glance across the street. In the moonlight, Sophie caught a glimpse of an enormous, long, pale, wrinkly face with the most enormous ears. His nose was as sharp as a knife and above the nose there were two bright flashing eyes and the eyes were staring straight at Sophie. There was a fierce and devilish look about them. Sophie gave a yelp and pulled back from the window. She flew across the dormitory and jumped into her bed and hid under the blanket. There she crouched, as still as a mouse, tingling all over. I hope you enjoyed chapter two of the BFG and Ralph and I, I'm sure, will be with you again soon. Look after yourselves. Bye, year three.